This is spun set up in a circular warp and I'm actually going to undo it but you can see that this is where we started and you do a row and twists are here but they also happen in mirror image below and you take a stick and you push that twist over the bottom bar and up the back and here they are. So every row in the front has a corresponding row in the back of the circular warp. The twists are meeting up here. This looks pretty ragged and that's actually a difficult spot to get right. But um, you'll see I'll push this twist out and it'll come out on the back as well. Take out that. There, that one came out. And we've got one more row remaining. And you can see all the twists are gone, and we just have a warp. And if you've done this properly, you'll still have your things in the proper order, which it doesn't look like I do. Okay, that's better. Everything is going in a spiral around the frame. And if I wanted to do flat, I would work with everything, just like normal. But if I want to work in a circular warp, I ignore the stuff at the back. So there's everything in the back. I'm just going to ignore that. So. I take every other strand in the front only. In that case it's all blue threads. That becomes the front. There's the shed. And this is my back. And we go two from the back going up, one from the front going down, one from the um, back going up, one from the front going down, just a regular row one and you can see the twists here but all this is as yet untwisted but when I made twists here mirror ones happened a little further down and I take another stick and I push them to the bottom under the bottom uh, bar and up the back and if the tension's not quite right, you might get a blip like that. But now, you're starting to build up your fabric. So, Row two, 
push the twist down and I don't have to push it under the bar right yet and uh, if you look at traditional pictures of people doing sprung with sticks often they're just pushing it down to that bottom rung and then later they'll take the sticks one by one to push it back or at least according to Collingwood that's what happened and uh, so you can work comfortably here and then push all the twists back oh, I forgot no that's right push all the twists back later You can see how 